testing of a, a pressure relief switch, overriding the pressure switch in order to do that. So the water torch builds up to its operating pressure and the blue light shuts out. So here we have a pressure relief valve which is mounted just underneath the tower like so. Vents up through the pressure relief valve and then out down and in this case I put the out hose into a water container so we can see the gas coming out. In order to simulate the pressure switch not working, since the pressure switch is normally closed during operation and then opens to stop the gas from being produced, we will short out the pressure switch simulating a fault condition which immediately causes the water torch to turn on again and continue building pressure. The pressure relief valve starts to relieve. There will reach a point where the pressure relief valve is relieving all of the pressure and in this case we're talking 1600 liters an hour because we have the four capacitors on the machine. We've reached a steady state bubbling there and the pressure is right around 28 psi. So now what we'll do is we'll disconnect the leads on the pressure switch and since the pressure is obviously higher than 8 psi it's no longer producing any gas and therefore the pressure is being relieved still out of the pressure relief valve and just to speed this up a little bit I'm going to relieve some of the pressure here because it takes a while to relieve the pressure otherwise and when it gets down to the say about 15 psi the, it pretty well stops venting and as the pressure goes down further let's take it down to 10 then you can see that like, there's no pressure relief anymore and here we'll take it down again and we see the machine turn on again to hold the gas pressure at 8 psi.